Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, before I formally open this evening's meeting, may I please highlight in the event of a fire alarm sounding, please evacuate the building as quickly as possible using the main stairs and assemble outside the Citizens of the Vice Bureau offices in Clarence Road. Please note that the lift should not be used. Wheelchair users should remain on the landing outside the council chamber and wait for assistance. Welcome to the members of the public and thank you for joining us. As per legislation and the Town Council standing orders, members of press and public are permitted to film and record proceedings when seated in designated areas. Okay, if you do wish to film or record, I'd be grateful if you let the clerk now know so they can make provision that you already filmed, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone interrupting proceedings? May be ordered to leave the chamber. In due course, I will invite those in the public gallery to ask any questions to assist with the smooth running of the meeting. I'll be grateful if you could give your name and respectfully request that you speak for no more than two minutes each. If there are agenda items which the town clerk has been that the press and public should be excluded from, you will be advised and asked to leave the chamber. Now, please request that all mobile phones are turned off or switched on to silent. May I? Welcome our uh, fellow councillors, new councillors and old councillors. I trust you have had the opportunity to read and digest the reports circulated on the agenda and would respectfully remind you that I would like to chair this meeting strictly in accordance with standing orders. May I take this opportunity to remind all councillors that when we take our seats to serve on this council, we agree to abide by the terms of the council code of conduct and conduct ourselves in a manner that complies with the code, including the obligations to treat others with respect. There will, of course, always be differing opinions, but when this occurs, may I ask that these opinions are expressed in a polite and measured manner, which ultimately results in a more efficient council. No further delay, I'll therefore call this meeting to order and move to the first agenda item, which I won't read. No. no. <laughs> I'm going to hand out uh, some certificates and uh, check, but before I do, I'd just like to say, uh, serving uh, on, on this council for eight years, um, obviously I'm, I didn't get re-elected, unfortunately, but it's been a really special uh, privilege to, to serve as, as mayor, and uh, I will now hand out to some, could have Canon Birch. Can I, can I just wait, um, I just wait, thanks to the uh, outgoing mayor and... Um, from us from the last council and thought you were oh, so good. Good. thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. 
Philip John Woodall, having been elected to the office of Town Mayor of Bogham Regis Town Council, declare that I take that office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability. Thank you very much. Okay, right, then, nominations for Deputy Mayor. Right, now we need nominations for Deputy Mayor, please. Yeah, I'd like to um, please put forward um, Councillor Goodhart. Um, I personally have known Councillor Goodhart a very, very long time. Um, I remember um, him and my father were friends, and uh, when we had a care home, um, he was doing the signs for our care home um, and many, many years ago. And I remember the child saying, when are the signs coming? And uh, Dad always said, oh, well, Steve's so got them. And about 10 years later, the care home closed. <laughs> <laughs> but that wasn't down to Steve. That was down to my dad, not actually ordering the signs. But, um, um, Steve uh, I, I has been responsible for including actually at the time our care home, painting it bright green and, um, and uh, uh, bringing uh, lots of joyful colours to the town and uh, also um, of course Steve has uh, been arranged for one of the biggest uh, music festivals in Bognor, obviously or the biggest music festival over the years, Rocks. So um, Steve has done, done his four years on this council and um, I think he would be a very good citizen to go forward for deputy then um, Mayor, so I'd like to propose Councillor Goodhart. Thank you. Yeah, and a seconder. Councillor Stanley. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Who's <laughs> <laughs> first? We don't. Well, I don't know. I'll tell you what, let's have, let's have one of the new ones, shall we? Why not? Why not? Councillor Smith. Thank you. Okay, uh, any other nominations? Councillor Smith, you can go to the all in favour? You can vote for yourself, by the way, Steve. <laughs> 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 well, do you like to 
Christy. <coughs> Exciting <laughs> for all of us. Right, congratulations on the here's the invite on this. Having been elected to the office of Deputy Town Mayor of Bognor, uh, that's Bognor Regis Town Council, I declare that I take the office upon myself and, would du and will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. I, I'd like to say very, very briefly a couple of words. I didn't know Adam was going to say all that wonderful stuff about me bringing colour to Bognor. But I've got to say that to see the change of colour in the gesture, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was so cool. And I'm really looking forward to colouring continuing to flow, irrespective of what happens in the elections of the European. Although I hope it greens out. Thank you very much. <laughs> who has voted for me this evening to stand as second term of Mayor of Bogner Regis. I'm extremely honoured to be taking up this position once again and would like to thank the outgoing Mayor, Mr Stephen Reynolds, who I believe is bump. Um, my chaplain for the year is Major Matt Butler from the Salvation Army in Bogner Regis. My charity will be Surf Sussex, which if you haven't heard, it's a voluntary organisation that transports blood, platelets, plasma, x-rays, patients' notes, medical equipment, and much more across Sussex, free of charge. They have no paid officers and run entirely on donations. They make no charge for their services, and the volunteers receive no payment. You quite often see the lady did a, I met them at um, Tesco, so they were doing a um, collection. Fun, <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I've got to chatting to them, and it's, it's a very worthwhile thing because I don't think any of us know that we might need it one day. Um, but finally, I'd like to welcome Councillor Steve Goodhart as my deputy, deputy this year and look forward to working with you, which I'm sure will be fun and enjoyable for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my main consort this year, again, will be uh, my partner.